So today we're starting you off with something a little different. You're actually going to be reacting to some new technology today. Okay, I like technology. Oh, great. Okay, what is this? So we're going to show you all about this. I'm really underwhelmed. That does not look particularly new. That's kind of cool. It's like kind of a printer. It's a robot of some kind. I have no idea what it would do. Why would you need this wire? Oh, is it a 3D printer? It is. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I didn't know they looked like this, but I have heard of them. What do you think that is? I have absolutely no idea. Ah, I have no idea. It's an automatic lanyard maker. Looks like it could be a copier of some sort. It's 3D robot, some kind of 3D robot. I would guess it's a 3D printer. What you're looking at is a 3D printer. Oh, really? That's small. Oh, interesting. Forms a mold and you get the live thing. You can create or download designs for a multitude of objects and the printer will print it and you will have a physical product in your hand right from that machine. It's fantastic. So what do I get to make? What am I waiting for? Let's have fun! So part of the way this works is with something called filament, which is a type of plastic that you see right there. I see that. So this is what makes everything. This is it. It's fantastic, isn't it? This technology is going to change everything. I'm sure it's easy to to, to produce this thing and we can buy these things in uh, different colors. I don't see how a little string like this can make a 3D, 3D dimensional product. Oh, That's why you hand me a separate one. So we're gonna now walk you through how to use this. Oh gosh, no. I'm gonna use it? Good luck to you. I can't use it without a computer. <laughs> Just like a regular printer, if you were gonna print text, uh -huh. you need to hook up a computer to it, but instead yeah. of printing text, you're going to print things. All right, we're going to turn it on. I'm going to print an object now. Shortly. Oh! <laughs> Here's the program that comes with the printer that we loaded with pre-made objects. So take a look at the screen and select anything from that list and it will print it. Oh, this is so fantastic. Well, we've got the iPhone case, a padlock, Thor's hammer, and a spork. I want to see the padlock. I guess an iPhone case. I think the spork would be probably the most useful for me, because I'm a foodie. I'd like to make Thor's hammer. Go to print. So before it starts, it needs to heat up to 210 degrees. We got a ways to go. I'm waiting. It's 170, 180 degrees already. So I don't have to go to some factory in Hong Kong to watch this being made. If I get the right gear, I could do this stuff at home. This is amazing. I don't understand where it could be done. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's starting. I've heard about this technology. I never thought I would actually sit and participate. And then it's going to calibrate so it can find itself to know where to start the mold. It's like taking measures and... Maybe I should get back a little bit. My uh, Back further. They're pretty noisy, too. That's almost as slow as my printer at home. Does it make it on top of this platform or underneath it? Oh, here it comes. It's drawing out the outline. Oh, I see. Now it has an outline made. Well, this is amazing. It's probably just going to lay layer on top of layer until it gets uh, however thick it wants to be. Hey, this could take a while, couldn't it? Does it move any faster? In just two hours and ten minutes, you'll have that iPhone case. Oh. Two hours. All right, you bring in lunch or dinner? So in a little less than an hour, you would have the sport. I'm gonna watch the whole thing. In just 17 hours, you'll have Thor's hammer. Hours? In just 12 hours, you'll have this lock. In 12 hours. Oh, <laughs> get out of here. I can go buy one at the store. It's not bad. Even those 12 hours, you know, I think is worth it. So obviously, we're not gonna sit here for the two hours. All right, okay. So I'll cancel the print. Oh. But we have the finished product here to show you. Oh, well, that's pretty cute. That's great. My God. And with the design and everything in it. Wow. Gee, that's very neat. Very well conceived and put together. This is almost an actual production piece. <laughs> it put Thor on it, too? That is just amazing that it can write. Plenty dang impressive. 17 hours, though. Oh, my God. Things that I couldn't even imagine are created already. The other technologies uh, sort of creep up on you because I'm familiar with a phone. For me, I cannot imagine it, even though I'm sitting right here. 
with my powerful hammer. Who do you think benefits the most as this becomes even more advanced and more affordable and less time consuming? Well, I think primarily it's gonna be the medical field. Commerce, which is the basis really of all, of all cultures and all societies, it turns the whole making of the economy on its head. I wonder what happens to certain other businesses that sell the product. I mean, what's gonna, goodbye. I don't think we have to worry about replacing human beings with this yet. Maybe in 50 years. So 3D printing has a lot of pros and cons even now. The bad is that people have made guns with this technology that actually work. Yes, I heard about that. I didn't think about that. That's really, that's scary. But on the other side of it, there's like prosthetic limbs and all these innovations and accessibility in the medical field. So what are your thoughts about those sides of the technology? I don't fret on it. We're gonna get into the censorship issue where we go, okay, well you can't make you can't make certain things, well, who's gonna control that? We have made a lot of advances that are very helpful today and very much needed. So you, you can't stop technology. If you want to make a weapon, you don't need a 3D printer to do that. On the plus side, the prosthetic limbs, uh, valves, that's just wonderful. So if this is the technology now, where do you think we're heading? I really can't imagine what's gonna be in 20 years from now. If you make it, as big as this room, make our own cars. I think it's going into space. If we go to another planet, imagine how much stuff we need. But now we can make what we need. So last question, if you could have one of these now, would you want one? Absolutely not. I don't need it in my life. I can't think of what I would want to make, to be honest. This is, seems very, a bit clunky, a bit noisy, a bit basic. So I'm sure that in five years, they would be really awesome. Yes, I would want one. I'm. Um the first one in line. My great aunt was born in 1889. Her attitude always was, oh, isn't this exciting? So I think it's really important to kind of have that attitude about, isn't this exciting? Isn't this amazing? What else can it do? And be just in awe. Thanks for watching another episode of Elders React. Be sure to subscribe. We have new videos every single week. Goodbye. You may have thought this was the real Don, but actually, I'm a 3D print of myself 3D print of myself, 3D print of myself.